Hi, Adrian. I um, appreciate your time. Congratulations on the fight. You know, a lot of people might look at Mikey and think of him as an offensive fighter because of his uh, high number of knockouts. You know, I kind of think of him as a defensive fighter to a large degree, and he's good at avoiding getting hit and being, you know, tough for guys. Do you feel like fighting his style is going to require a lot of patience on your part? Um, as far as what, I mean, um, if you ask me, I'm, I, I'm, I'm the guy with, 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 with that's very defensive, and um, I really don't get hit that much. Only when I when I decide to stand in the middle and bang. But you know, other than that, you know, I, I'm very hard to hit myself. I think this fight is going to be two um, nice boxes with with high IQs and put on a great show of boxing. And I guess that's what I was getting at. And and I wonder, it's like it's going to be a fight that may be determined by footwork and kind of ring generalship. Would you agree with that? Um, I wouldn't say all that. You know, uh, you know, everybody don't fight the same every night when they go in the ring. You know, uh, once once I get in there and make my adjustments, and once he get in there and try to make his adjustments, you know, we're gonna let the, we're gonna let the fight play. And do you feel, Mikey, you know, you look at him, he's got 30 knockouts and 36 fights. Do you feel like he is, a, you know, he, we saw what he did to Zlatikin in the last time out. Do you feel like he's a stiff puncher, and is that something you've got to be careful of, uh, his punching power? Anybody's a puncher with eight ounce gloves on. <laughs> it, it all hurt. I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm one who tell the truth. I, I don't want to get hit by nobody. I don't care if it's, uh, <laughs> I don't care if it's Paul Malignaggi or or McDonald. I don't I don't want to feel none of their punches. And and then uh, if I could, could I ask Stephen a question real quick? Sure, absolutely. Stephen, I just want to know, you know, the success that you've had this year with all the fights uh, and you know, the, and also the CBS fights that did so well. Mm-hmm. Did that make it possible? Because I know you have a limited budget, and these are both fighters that command high salaries. Did the success you've had with these other fights? contribute in any way to you being able to get this particular fight done? Well, I I think, you know, and, and Adrian just, just sort of said it, um, you know, these fighters, they're, they're top-tier athletes, and they don't get to that this level of accomplishment without being competitors. So, um, you know, we saw it like, you know, Sean Porter was at er- Errol's fight. You know, um, you know uh, Adrian comes to a lot of fights, especially here at Barclays. Um, when these guys see these big fights happening, their juices get flowing and they get salivating. So more than anything, it's it's really the fighters. The fighters are the the ones who are taking these tough fights and in many cases, you know, asking for the tough fights. Um, you know, the the way you know originally uh, we were looking at at scheduling you know a fight for Mikey and a fight for Adrian. You know, probably some point this summer. Um, you know, and then at a certain point. We realized that for either of them at 135 or 140, there wasn't a bigger fight than fighting each other. So once, you know, everyone understood that, I mean, it was everything clicked. It's like this is the biggest fight that each of them can make right now realistically. And that's that's really what, what got it done and made all the other issues, weight, money, all that other stuff melted away because these are two world-class competitors who want to do the biggest fight possible. Thanks, Stephen.